Do you want to learn stretches that you can apply to your massage therapy techniques? Then tune in as I show you some of my favorite stretches to do on the table. Hi, I'm Christopher Brennan with the Muscle Doc Method, and today I'm going to show you some stretches for the neck, low back, and hips that you can apply to your sports massage. Let's get started. So the first stretch, we're going to be focusing in on the neck. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one arm and we're going to place it on the opposite shoulder. Okay. And now we're going to rest our client's head just on our arm right there nice and comfortably. And we're going to take our other hand and cross it underneath and place it on the other shoulder. These are going to hold the shoulder down while we straighten our legs and we bring the head and chin towards the chest. And we ask our client to let us know when they get to the edge of their stretch. Are you at your edge of your stretch? Perfect. And we're gonna hold this for three, two, one, good. And we're gonna come back down. And again, what we're gonna do we're going to take this right arm, reach it underneath, set it on that left shoulder, take our right arm, underneath our right arm, and set it on the left shoulder, bringing it down, asking our client to let us know when we get to the edge of their stretch, and we're going to straighten our legs, and we're going to bring that chin to chest. Good, and we're going to hold it here for three seconds. Have them take a nice inhale and exhale on their own. Perfect, and we're going to come back down. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate their head to the left. We're going to take our right arm, reach underneath and place it on their left shoulder. Now we're going to rest their head on our arm. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take this up until they get to the edge of the stretch. Now this stretch is getting nicely into the levator scapula, into the splenus capitis muscles there. And we have to take a nice inhale in. Good, and exhale. We're not gonna come back down. It's extremely important that you just go to the edge of your client's stretch. It's not a challenge to see how far they can go or anything like that. This should be a very comfortable and enjoyable stretch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the other side. We're going to place our left hand here and we're going to rotate their head to the right. Good. And we're going to use our uh, other hand just for guidance. And we're going to go ahead and lean up and ask them to let us know when they get to the edge of your stretch. Good. We're going to have them take a nice inhale through their nose. And exhale. Good. And we'll come back down. And depending on what their complaint was when they can't come in to my office, I might do this multiple times. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that again. Good. Nice big inhale. Enjoying this nice stretch there in the um, levator and splenus capitis muscles. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're taking their head to the left. So they're facing left. We're going to place our right hand over the shoulder and we're going to depress the shoulder down and we're going to take our left hand and we're going to apply and I'm resting my forearm onto their head, not over the ears, not over the eyes, not too much pressure on the temple, but we're going to press down and rotate and ask them to let us know when they get to the edge of the stretch. Good. Now have them take a nice big inhale. And they're feeling a wonderful stretch there in the scalenes. Good. And I'm going to hold this for one more. 
Nice big inhale. Excellent. Good. Now we're going to come to this side. And same thing. We're going to take our left hand, place it on their left shoulder. Take our right hand, wrap it under, and we're going to rotate to the side to the edge of the stretch. Good. Ask them to take a nice big inhale. And exhale. And we'll go ahead and do that one more time. Perfect. Now, if we want to be more specific on this levator scapula, which is a, a, a common area, a common site for pain and discomfort, what we can do is we're going to, we're going to do the example on the right side. We're going to rotate their head like this. I'm going to hold it with my left hand. I'm taking my right hand underneath and I'm pushing down on the scapula. We're going to hold that scapula in position while we reach this head up to get that stretch. Good. And nice inhale. We're going to do that again. Good, and we'll bring it back down. And it's really important when you're working with people's head to uh, make them feel very supported. This is a very vulnerable position for anyone to be in. So uh, there's a lot of trust established when doing um, you know, stretches for the neck. And you want to just be very respectful of the space that you're working in. And just to show the example on the left side, we're going to rotate towards the left. I'm going to grab the head, taking my left hand, placing it underneath, pushing that scapula down while we bring this head up. We're just going to the edge of the stretch and we're going to have them take a nice inhale. Good, and exhale. Come down. So for these next stretches, uh, this is not something you're going to do on, on everyone, but when applicable, it's very important. Um, I would say this is more of an advanced uh, myofascial stretch, so um, something that takes some time to develop the skill. So you're going to have your client go ahead and uh, come back towards you and hang the head off the table. And I am going to make sure that I'm supporting the head. Now this is really, this stretch is geared to target the scalenes and the SEM. And why this is important is uh, in cases of like thoracic outlet syndrome, people have had um, you know, cervical surgeries and there's a lot of muscle tension. Um, athletes who use um, you know, their scalings excessively for uh, respiration, uh, things like that. But what we're gonna do is, again, I'm holding the head very comfortably. We're gonna rotate it to the right so we can stretch this up. So we're gonna take our right hand around and grasp. Now for this first one, I'm gonna be taking my left hand and placing it on the clavicle to hold the clavicle in position. So I'm on top of the clavicle, not below. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna, I'm applying this downward pressure with my right arm to the edge of their stretch. They're gonna go ahead and take a nice inhale in and exhale. And that stretch feels amazing on those scalenes. Now for the SEM, what we're gonna do is same thing. We're tilting this head to the right, taking this right hand underneath, now, instead of being on top of the clavicle, we're going to go just below it down to that first and second rib at the SCM attachment. And now I'm taking my right arm down, applying pressure. I'm at the edge of their stretch, 
They're going to take a nice inhale and exhale. You do not want to overstretch this because of the brachial plexus nerve that travels through this region. But this is a common site of uh, thoracic outlet syndrome where that brachial plex nerve gets entrapped. And you can check out my advanced myofascial uh, upper extremity course where I dive in on uh, how to treat the, the thoracic uh, outlet syndrome using advanced myofascial techniques. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that on the right side again. So I'm tilting his head to the left. I'm going to be wrapping my left hand around, grabbing the back of the head. Feel very secure. The uh, client or patient doesn't have to do anything except for allow you to move their head comfortably. I'm taking my right hand, I'm placing my thumb and palm essentially on that clavicle, not on the nerves and scalenes up here. Be very careful. You're just holding it in place. And we're gonna bring that head back and down until they say they feel a stretch. Good. We'll have them take a nice inhale. And exhale. And then I like to bring it up, let it reset comfortably before moving into the SEM stretch. We're gonna turn it again to the left. Going to grab around, take my right hand and put it below the clavicle, and I'm pressing downward pressure down to the edge of the stretch and have them take a nice inhale and exhale. Perfect. And I'll bring it back up. And we'll have them scoot back down so we can rest their head comfortably on the, the table. But since we're just maneuvering it, I want to make sure to provide that head some support. And the last one for the neck, what we're going to do is we're using our fingertips just to crawl up along the trapezius and splenus uh, capitis there. And I'm going to come right here below the um, base of the skull using the pads of my fingers and we're going to push the head up and back and we're going to ask them to tilt their head back comfortably and just let it go and this should feel real good on so many of your clients so many of us spend a lot of time with our head in forward flexion, looking down at devices and, and whatnot. So to have some extension like this feels really good. Excellent. All right, so those are some uh, sports massage therapy stretches that you can uh, apply into your techniques uh, in your own private practice. Let me know down in the comments sections below um, how you and your clients have benefited from these stretches. Um, I know they've been helpful for uh, me and my clients for, for many years. So if you enjoyed this video, show me some love. Hit that like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out my program links in the description and I'll see you in the next episode.